Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Investor Intel. My name is Peter Clausey. Today, we're talking again with Chris Thompson about one of his research reports. Hi, Chris. Hey, Peter. How are you today? I'm well. You and I haven't chatted for a bit. Uh, today, we're talking about your report on Movely Media, which trades as MVY on the Venture Exchange. That's correct. Um, you are paid to write research, but you don't write anything you don't believe in. <laughs> That's right. I try not to, but yeah, I like to focus on names where there is some sort of catalyst happening uh, and there's going to be a, a share price appreciation from these catalysts uh, that, that could be occur for the company. Well, Movely's already had a really nice capital appreciation. I met the CEO at PDAC 2020, where we stress tested the software. I think I did something like 35 interviews over three days, and the software worked perfectly. So I became a shareholder a couple of years ago when it was around six, seven, eight cents. Currently trading around sixty. Yeah, I'm also. I also like the company so much. I bought some shares as well. I participated in the financing last December. So what drove it from eight cents to the sixty where it is now? I think it's just uh, public awareness of, of the product itself. It's it's grown to the, the size. Uh, you know, it's got now three point seven million users who are using the application. It also has got some great partnerships. And I think that just the momentum of those uh, those announcements and those those deals have helped uh, investors become more aware of the company. It must be driving revenue upwards as well. Yeah, there is incremental revenue coming through. I mean, they do have a, a fairly good e-commerce base or so your consumer product that's out there that is growing steadily month on month. Uh, they had a, a bit of a boost, you know, with the COVID stay at home where people wanted to make uh, videos. You know, Movely focuses on on a, it's a feature rich platform for video creation. And so it really sort of keyed in for people staying at home and wanting to create videos from home. And, and that's where they got even more of a, of a boost. Um, but I think more and more, it's the, uh, the enterprise customers who are coming in, who are using some of their features uh, like their API to integrate into their own products, or they also have um, you know, an automation tool that allows you to customize videos very quickly uh, and send it out. And I think those types of features um, have really sort of struck a chord with the larger enterprise clients who are looking to, for a partner, you know, on the video creation platform. I was talking to the CEO, Brendan Grunewald, when they wrote their uh, Google API so that it would enable, like if you and I were talking within their platform, it could give you subtitles in another language across the bottom in near real time as we're chatting. Yeah, and, and that's one of the things that um, Movely has done is it's really listened to its customers and tried to build a platform that really has a lot of features and work with their larger customers on that. And that's what I think is really important because, you know, it's all said and good to have some, uh, you know, some enterprise, uh, sort of some, you know, uh, e-commerce clients come on one by one. But really what you want to do is sign these larger deals. And that's where I see the big catalyst coming, where you get one of these larger deals. And in my report, I sort of give one example of like you know the the uh, website creation software companies, you know just one of these partnerships of uh, signing up say uh, you know a hundred thousand clients, you know a dollar per day adds an incremental million dollars to to Movely's bottom line, and these are the types of catalysts which will see the revenue go like for, you know from one point five million this year, sort of the two point five million next year, and even maybe up to a step jump of eight million, and that's what I have in my report, and that's and that's where I'm seeing. This sort of this catalyst being done by these larger enterprise customers coming in and, and taking hit the platform and integrating it into their offering. Does Movely have the capacity to scale up? Yeah, they, it's, a, it's a SaaS based platform, so it's easily scalable itself. And, and they've, they've gone on and, and, and signed up the hardware contracts online with, with the distribution at the various web points to enable uh, it, to, it to scale up into millions of users. And I see that this week or today, oh, well, today. They announced that they've integrated with Instagram, uh, allowing users to publish videos made in Movely's platform directly to Instagram. Yeah, and they've, they've done that with uh, both on the in and, and the outbound. They've done lots of third-party integration. So they've integrated with, with, with products like you know Box and Dropbox and Google Drive and Microsoft Drive to be able to, to get your, your information on and off and in, or in and out of the platform. And then they when you've done the video, they have integrations with with things like uh, platforms like Facebook and Instagram, uh, YouTube, so you can immediately publish your videos to those platforms. 
So seamless is the magic word, right? Yeah, seamless, exactly. So you can, when you're talking about moving around, you know, data, uh, you want to be able to easily pull data in and out of your platform uh, and be able to publish it seamlessly uh, to, your, to your audience. Uh, 136 million shares out, trading around 60 cents. So roughly an $80 million market cap today. Where do you see it going? Well, in my, I did a DCF uh, and as well as a revenue blend to create a, a target price. I have it in the next 12 months being at $1.40 based on those metrics. Um, and that's, a, and that's from, some, from the revenue going from you know, $2.5 million this year to about $8 million the year after. So uh, and I believe with those enterprise clients, uh, they can achieve those numbers. Uh, what kind of multiple are you using? Uh, well, it's a, it's a fairly ha healthy multiple. Uh, it's a 40 times revenue multiple uh, right now because of the growth in the product as well. It is a, it is a SaaS product, and um, because of its growth curve, uh, it does warrant a, a fairly high multiple. You know, who else has that kind of multiple? Shopify? Shopify does have a, a high multiple. Any, any of the, your SaaS-based growing companies – uh, that are that are scalable and, and of interest to um, you know probably a third party acquisition uh, you know could be interested in it will warrant that that high multiple. Neat. Well, I'm due to talk to Brendan soon anyway, so I can bring this up with him. Your website is eresearch.com. That is correct. So you can find the report there. If you have any questions, Chris is easy to access by phone or by email. His information will be all over the website. It is, and it's all over the report. The report's available for free from the website. You can download it, and uh, my contact information is on the report. Chris, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Thanks, Peter. Have a great day. Peter Clausey signing out from Investor Intel. Have a safe day, everyone.